All right, so if you're watching this video, you want a clean audio sample from the DJI mic Gen 2 versus Gen 1. And honestly, this is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to videos about wireless lav systems that are released in the last two, three years. You never know how good they actually sound, mostly because everybody has a different recording environment, different EQ settings. And probably the biggest offender is that people are using $300 mics with $500 audio interfaces that kind of skew the results. So in this video, you're just gonna be listening to audio from the DJI Mic 2, the DJI Mic 1, and my camera. Now, of course, the camera audio is gonna sound atrocious. You've gotta bear with me. That's gonna be our control test. So throughout the video, I'll put on top left or right-hand corner which audio source is coming through. And of course, the DJI Mic 2 is recording 32-bit because that's the whole selling feature. So why not test it out? Actually, let's even simplify this. Let's just record with one mic at a time. I'm gonna put the DJI Mic first and put the DJI Mic 2 down. So yeah, let's get into it. The DJI Mic 1 is actually a really nice microphone system. I think it's one of the best wireless lav systems out on the market, even though it doesn't have some of the newer features like the 32-bit float of the Rode Pro or the DJI Mic 2. DJI wasn't the first company to put out a wireless lav system that had its charging case and a receiver with an LED screen, but they definitely did the best. The form factor is still the most light and compact while having internal storage. And internal storage is super important. Now, of course, most people like to clip these things onto their shirts or use the magnet. I personally um, hate clipping things onto my shirt. And realistically, I use a dynamic microphone. I use a dynamic mi microphone for almost all of my videos. The whole point of this test, because I'm guilty of using, and I'll show you, a $300, $400 audio interface. And then right now, if I typically was recording this video, I'd be shooting with a Shure SM7 DB or another high-end microphone. That's literally the kit that I have. And it's unrealistic to compare these mics against those mics because those mics are specifically made for isolating your voice and making you sound really dramatic. They're podcast style mics. I mean, people have used them to record tons of music and then you switch to a small lavalier mic here. People don't understand what the purpose of these systems are. And case in point, how revolutionary the new DJI Mic 2 is. Now these mics, the DJI Mic 1 specifically, and of course the DJI Mic 2 are conveniences. They give you the ability to wirelessly transmit audio from your talent to your camera. And this used to be a really expensive process. You had to have some really expensive gear or something that was very heavy and clunky to do it. And now you can do it wirelessly. Now, of course, it's never going to give you studio grade Shure SM7DB vocals. I wouldn't record a song with this, but the fact that you can run and gun, record audio, and it's convenient at a sub $300 price point is amazing. That being said, I think that's enough test for the DJI Mic 1. Let's switch to DJI Mic 2. And of course, everything you've heard on this DJI Mic has not been EQ'd. It has been straight out of camera uh, or straight from the internal recording, so you know what to expect, whether I was hand-holding it or it was clipped to my shirt, doing the same test with the DJI Mic 2. That being said, now we're on the DJI Mic 2. Of course, you can tell. And the DJI Mic 2 is special. It's special because it has 32-bit audio flow, which doesn't mean that it's gonna sound better. 32-bit audio flow just means that you have more dynamic range. So if you're outside doing a recording and somebody's speaking really, really low, or somebody yells really, really high, or there's some kind of disruption of the audio, you'll be able to recover that file, and that is invaluable. The truth is, is that the DJI Mic 2 is actually a really powerful device. And you can technically use this to run XLR mics kind of like the Shure SM7B or DB, which I've actually tested before, but I'm gonna have to put in another video. Or maybe I'll stick it at the end of this video just to give you another audio example. Essentially what DJI's done is that they've released a full wireless lav kit with two receivers and one transmitter that I can use to replace all my other 32-bit audio float recorders like my Zoom F3, like this guy right here. This is essentially this built in. And I know what you're saying, it doesn't have X XLR ports. That's okay, I actually use an XLR to 3.5 to do this test with the Shure SM7B and it sounded great. Let's uh, clip this to my shirt. So again, a lot of people use this clip to their shirts. It gives you the ability to be hands-free. I personally, again, don't like clipping into my shirt. And the fact of the matter is that your voice is shooting out while the mic is below you. So even though it's an omnidirectional mic, it's always gonna sound better when it's obviously closer to your mouth. So there's limitations to this. And that's where EQ really comes in handy. When you EQ your audio, you will get a better result, nine out of 10 times. So I'm still learning how to EQ these, and that's why I'm not giving you an EQ sample in this. I'm just giving you raw to camera because again, most reviewers won't do this, or the results will be skewed by using a really high-end mic. By the way, if you wanna see a full like unboxing of this DJI Mic 1 versus DJI Mic 2, I have it. I have it on my channel. Just after this video, click it. It'll probably show up at the end of the video anyway. I think that's a good sample test.
So yeah, that's been an audio test, just a pure audio test for your records, for your reference of the DJI Mic 1 versus the DJI Mic 2. Do let me know which one you think sounds better. If you have any questions about the DJI mics, you can leave them in my comments. My comment sections, I answer almost everything that you guys ask. Check out that other video that I've made about the DJI mics. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, we're gonna handhold this, which is completely uh, sacrilegious, but from the DJI Mic 2, into the Shure SM7DB. So this is one small, tiny audio chain. Now, I don't know what this is gonna sound like. I expect it to be completely noisy, just because who would think that this has enough power to drive a Shure SM7B? Like, do you know how much equipment we used to need? Cloud lifters, preamps, audio interfaces to make this thing sound good? So is this little thing actually working? I mean, we'll know. I mean, you'll know watching this. And I'll give you a sample that's EQ'd and a sample that's not EQ'd, just so we can do a scientific test, as scientific as this is. Now I'm in New York City, which is a small, tiny room, which is echoey with hard surfaces, along your machines running, and there's sirens and trains going by and stuff like that. So of course, audio subjective, and we'll see how this performs. Is it picking up every little noise or does it sound decent? Honestly, I have high hopes, but not high expectations because come on, it's a Shure SM7DB. Now, of course, audio interfaces have come a long way. I personally was never really good at audio. If you look back at my channel, eight, nine, 10 months ago, I had no idea how to do audio. But in the in the last couple months, I've learned how to EQ process and manage audio chains so that I get the best sounding solution as possible. Let me put that DJ mic down too. So hopefully this answers some of your questions. If it is possible, if it is impossible, how bad is it? Or is it even usable? Who knows? I mean, you know, and I'll know once I finish editing the video. But yeah, I'm rambling. Let's uh, see what it sounds like.